Hey guys, it's Way here, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be bringing you guys an awesome silver squad builder. And uh, now, this team here will cost you around 25,000 coins. It's got a team of the season, it's got five star skill, and it's got a ton of great players. And uh, yeah, it's actually one of the best silver teams I have used this year. It's a no links weighted team, as always, in the 4 3 2 1 formation, which is uh, one of my favorite formations this year. And uh, yeah, overall, it is a great team. I was playing online single matches with it, which is what I do now with my squad builder, so I get a more fair reflection of how well the team plays, rather than just playing with it in a higher division. And uh, yeah, I actually really enjoy using silver teams this year. Uh, they're actually pretty competitive, and this one here was extremely good as well. I do have gameplay for you guys at the end of the video as well. But without further ado, let's go on into this team. Starting off in goal, we've got Kepa Arazagabala. Now, this guy here on career mode, if you do play career mode, is an absolute beast. And uh, yeah, he's just as good right here as well. He's got some very, very good stats. 78 diving, 83 reflexes, 6 foot 2 acrobatic save technique, which is uh, what I prefer. And he's pretty cheap as well. So very, very good keeper right there. Uh, then in the left back position, we have got uh, Haidara from Newcastle. Now this guy here has got some very, very good free kick stats. Only 50 shooting, uh, but he has actually got good free kick stats. And I think he's the best free kick taker in this team. And he's also got pretty good stats just for fullback with good pace, good dribbling, good defending, and decent physical as well. And he's pretty cheap, which is not too bad at all. Next to him, we've got Maxime Le Marshall. And this guy here, very, very good. I've used him quite a lot on this game already. And uh, he's got 71 pace, 74 defending, 78 physical, 6 foot 1. And for 400 coins, he is an absolute beast. He's got all the stats you want there for a good centre back. Next to him, we've got Luis Hernandez. This guy's actually gone to Leicester, but this is his card in the Liga BBVA and he's got 74 pace, 75 defending, 74 physical, again very similar stats to a gold player just like Le Marchand. medium high work rates and 6 foot tall as well which is perfect and again a very cheap player there at just 500 coins and in the right back position to complete the defence I've got Jose Fernandez, 88 pace and that's pretty much the only set you're looking at there, he's a very very quick player uh, he's not got the best defending or physical but uh, it was hard to find another right back to fit into the team uh, and Fernandez was definitely the best out of the ones available and that great pace definitely does come in handy He's really good at getting up the wing and also getting back and defending as well And another very very cheap player the whole defense was very cheap So I could save some coins to really uh, get some good players in the midfield and attack Moving into the midfield we start off with Pedro Obiang in the right centre position This guy plays for West Ham He's got a very very nice well-rounded card Not the best shooting there He did manage to get himself a goal and one assist though in five games and for a player who costs under a thousand coins, he's got a very, very good card. He's got over 70 in most stats right there, other than pace and shooting. And he's a good kind of defensive midfielder. He's got all the stats you want. But he's also pretty good going forwards because he has got decent passing and dribbling. Six foot one as well. Uh, and medium, medium work rate. So he's just going to stay in the midfield, which is perfect. Next to him, in the middle, we've got the defensive midfielder in the team. Actually set this guy to stay back whilst attacking. And that is Alexandra Tetti. Now, this guy's got some very, very nice stats. 74 pace, 71 dribbling, 71 passing, 81 physical, 75 defending. He's got amazing stats for a defensive player. Medium high work rates as well. And he's not bad going forwards either, as he did get me one goal and two assists there in five games. And to complete the midfield, we've got the most expensive player in the team, Vincent Cosiello. This guy here, very, very nice guy. It's a team of the season. And, uh, yeah, he's got 72 pace. 80 dribbling, 84 passing, which is awesome for a silver player. He doesn't have the best of shooting. He isn't really kind of a, an attacking midfielder. He's a creative midfielder, similar to someone maybe like David Silva or Iniesta, someone like that. Uh, he is very, very good and one of the best silver midfielders I've used on this game. He got me two assists, but that is not because he's a bad player. I mean, he, I, think, uh, I think all the other midfielders did score. But he sits back and he plays a lot of great passes and he really is very influential in your attack because he is going to be playing a lot of great through ball through the middle and over the top. And uh, yeah, he was definitely a great player to use. Probably my top three favorite players in this team. He was very, very solid. And it'll cost you around 13 and a half to 15,000 coins uh, on Xbox One anyway. I don't know how much he costs on PS4, but uh, there were quite a few of them on the market. So there's uh, probably not too much of a chance of him being extinct on either console. Moving into the strike force in the left forward position, we've got Mohamed El Yanusi, a five-star skiller. And my favourite player in this team, he was amazing. He's got 83 pace, 78 dribbling, 70 shooting, 5 star skills, 4 star weak foot. He's 5 foot 10 as well. And he actually managed to get himself 4 goals and 2 assists in 5 games. Which for a left forward is a very, very good return. I mean, I'd be pleased if I got that with someone like Ronaldo or Messi. If, uh, if I got that with uh, a very, very good winger 
And El Yanusi is 71 rated. You wouldn't really expect him to be that good, but he is amazing. And wait until you see the highlights where I did uh, some of the goals I did score with this team. And those goals were amazing. He scored some very, very nice goals. He scored a roulette shot finish. He scored a Rabona. Uh, he scored a lot of great goals, and you will see that in the clip. So, player I definitely recommend picking up. He's actually transferred to Basel as well. So you can also link him uh, to Dumbia and some other players in that league. In the right four position, we've got Nathan Redmond. Now, this is his Norwich card. He has actually got one at uh, Southampton. I believe this one is slightly more expensive because it's out of packs. Cost me 3,000 coins, though, as a right forward. And got me three goals and two assists in five games, which is a great return there. Four set skill moves as well. 86 pace, 79 dribbling. Some very, very nice stats right there. And uh, he was a lot of fun to use. Great dribbling, good pace, and he did give me quite a few goals as well. And to complete the team, I've decided to go with Erling Kusten. This guy here, you wouldn't really expect him to be that good since he's 67 rated. However, he's got 92 pace and 70 dribbling. And that combination there makes him very, very hard uh, to kind of stop once he gets going because he's just so, so quick. One of the quickest uh, silver players on the game. And he's got decent dribbling as well. And, uh, I mean, he's only got 64 shooting, but once you get into the right areas, it doesn't really matter if you've got 40 shooting or if you've got 90 shooting. You're still able to put it into the back of the net most of the time, just with a simple finesse shot from close range. Once you've got the pace like that, someone like a Yang, it wouldn't really matter if he had 99 shooting or 70 shooting. He can finish pretty much anything at close quarters, because that's where you're going to be getting. Once you've got a lot of pace, uh, you're always going to be beating the defenders, getting in behind, and at close range, very, very easy to finish just with a finesse shot if you're on your strong foot. Uh, or you can do an across the body shot if the ball isn't uh, in the correct position ready to do a finesse shot. So if you know how to finish, you're not going to have any issues there with that 64 shooting. As you can see, he got me three goals and one assist in five games, which is a very, very nice return right there. And he's so quick, uh, it really does kind of add an extra dimension to your team because on the counter-attack, he's just such a quick player. Uh, hardly anyone is really going to be outpacing him. So if you play a ball through behind, he's nearly always going to be getting to it. And for 600 coins... Couldn't really recommend him enough. So this is the Finnish team. I believe it has five leagues in total. And it's just got everything you want, really. I mean, the defence, very, very solid. You've got two centre-backs who have pretty similar stats there to gold players. They've got over 70 for pace, defending and physical. The full-backs, uh, they're both pretty pacey. And you actually have a really good free kick taker here in Haidara. The goalkeeper as well, very, very good right there. And the midfield, you've got Teti, who's an absolute beast as a defensive midfielder. Obiang is a very good kind of box to box a holding midfielder and then you have Cosiello who is a great great creative midfielder his passing is very very good and probably my three favorite players in this team would be Redmond, El Yanusi and Cosiello they were all very very good and uh, yeah moving into the strike force as well we've got left and right forwards who are quick they've got good skill moves uh, they can cut inside and shoot or they can uh, cross it in as well and uh, overall both of them were very very good and you have a very quick striker as well who is going to be able to get in behind and get you quite a lot of goals. So yeah, overall this team is very, very good. The uh, instructions I did use were stay by whilst attacking on my fullbacks and on my forwards, uh, my left and right forwards there, I set them to get in behind. And also on Teti, I set them to stay by whilst attacking. And finally, I put Knudsen here to stay central and get in behind. So that's all I did, and it made this team just play so, so well. Definitely recommend that you guys do try it out. Now, uh, it says I did play five games with this team. In total, I actually played four because one of the games actually uh, disconnected very early on. It's something that happens a lot to me. I'm not really too sure why. And another game, I came up against a team. This was in online single matches that had Pele, Team of the Season, Lacazette, Mateus, Hullet. I think he had Vieira, Maldini, Beckenbauer, Zanetti, Roberto Carlos, Schmeichel. Basically a full Legends team uh, plus... Uh, team of the season like I set up front and uh, yeah I uh, actually ended up losing 2-0 to him which was pretty decent considering I was coming up against a team that probably would cost around £20,000 uh, to, to build really by uh, buying fee points and stuff like that maybe even more so uh, I did come up against one of the best teams on FIFA only lost 2-0 uh, so against kind of normal teams I actually won three of those games disconnected one of them uh, and obviously came up against Pele and uh, a lot of legends for another game. So overall it was a great team and uh, yeah, you will see it by the goals at the end of this video just how good the team is. So if you guys do enjoy, enjoy the goals and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.
now, grab a mic, kill the stage, yeah, second nature now, mama said I make a prayer, I told her I made a vow, just to wait around, in the year I'll put her in a house, on the shore, or on the coast, or an island, and every month I'd hop on a plane to fly, yeah, and take a shot for whatever she wants to buy, yeah, she made me who I am, I got the heart of a lion, yeah, yeah, and for that, mama, I'm gratified, grinding harder than everybody, so please don't act surprised, when you see me pass your eyes, quickly as I'm passing by, grinding boys, strap or die, hope I'm a mastermind, uh, I got a smile on every day, got a taste of the good life, and I'm here to stay, I'm used to questions, so everybody ask away, hey, it's time to get high, homie, so pass the J. If I found a way to be happy every day, if you could just see my face, y'all would see I'm smiling, the clouds are never gray, if only there was a place, if you could just see my face, then y'all would see Vibes is the only thing we giving out. Oh, you say that you're feeling it. Haters didn't get the invite, huh? But I bet that they're hearing this. Making noise off the Richter. Kodak lifestyle, you better take a picture. Magazine set up holes, now I'm thinking bigger. Fuck the average show, boy, you know I'm trying to differ. Uh, and so far I think I'm doing it. Anything is possible, and boy, I think I'm proving it. People looking up to me, I'm really kind of new to this. Yeah, they looking up to me, I'm really kind of new to this. Uh, I got their hands to the ceiling.